Spark's key message is that in even the most difficult environments, the most um, conflict-affected states, there are a lot of ambitious young people that can and want to develop their own business, want to educate themselves and can move their societies forward by either creating their own business or by becoming a very high value employee of a company. The key role to be an entrepreneur is its social responsibility. We should run business not for ourselves, but for the community. So we designed this Kelasi tablet, which is the first digital school bag from Africa with the aim to put education on the continent in line with this 21st century. Entrepreneurship is about dreams and making dreams happen, and I think that that's what Spark is one of the best in the world at. An entrepreneur basically is this person that is trying to create things that have never existed before in society. And I thought, well, what if we could come up with a way to actually help kids get back in school, help their moms get back into work, and do so profitably. And we came up with the idea of uniform. For every item we sold, we would give away a school uniform to a child who otherwise could not go to school. Our responsibility is to create jobs for our fellow citizens, give them a livelihood. My passion is seeing them coming to work and being able to support their kids, because if you cannot give the foundation to your children, how can we build Liberia? We'll be gone, our kids are there. It's our responsibility that we create jobs for our people. Kosovo people are searching to regain their image, their stable identity, their mirror, their sense that everything is okay. In Spark's work with their partners, they actually concentrate on the importance of economic stability and prosperity. Let me tell you something, I best operate when I'm operating in Africa. Bringing me here, I, I become homesick and less operative, operational in my, in my capacity. So if solutions can come to me in my space, within my, my community, then I love it. I think all of us have something in common that we're, in, we're indigenous to our countries mm -hmm. and we want to see the social and economic uplift of them. To give a very clear example, we're on the eve of starting to place 10,000 young Syrian refugees in neighboring countries to study and build up a future there with a view of later contributing to the reconstruction of Syria. I don't think people li are leaving their houses, their communities, their cities voluntarily. Sometimes their life savings, their house is being bombarded, so they don't have another choice. I know I was 18 years old when I came to the Netherlands, and I feel the commitment actually to support my country, Syria, in this very harsh situation. Of course, Spark and the name already says it. What we hope is that we can spark some change in some of these societies and ignite other developments. We cannot take the entrepreneurs alone, we cannot get big corporations alone or NGOs. I think there is a need for collaboration. I see the work of Spark, of course, is not a silver bullet. It's reducing the pain in these very harsh situations. And it's also giving people hope. It's not enough. And I think other organizations should follow the example of Spark. And I think at the end what really counts is what is delivered on the ground. So this igniting has really shown me that when you put your mind to something, forget about it. how it cannot be done. Just say how and when are we going to do it. It can happen. I'm excited about this.